Okay, so it took me a while. It took me a while to get here. There was a lot of traffic in Phoenix and then seven miles on a dirt road and then the hike here, but it's completely worth it. I'm gonna play a little video with the images and footage that I got on the way here and then I'll talk about a little bit about the, the image that I'm, I'm gonna try to make here a long exposure of this uh, weaver needle. Looks like the wind is finally giving us a break. I didn't bring any microphone, so I have to use the, the cameras, the, the built-in microphones in there. So hopefully it sounds okay. Uh, it's not picking up uh, much of the wind noise. But uh, yeah, that wind didn't help at all with the uh, long exposures. Although I think I got a good one of uh, four minute long. Uh, I was uh, trying to record a time lapse with the GoPro and I dropped it down there. I don't know if you can see, but it was a good probably six or eight feet. It's a little bit of scratch there, but uh, it will survive. Anyway, this is a beautiful landscape, and I hope that uh, that long exposure. <laughs> Now I'm scared that everything is gonna fall. Anyway, I have hopes for that low exposure, the four minute low exposure. But the other bad thing is that when I got here, it was partly cloudy and sometimes the, the light. There's another complication because when I got here, it was partly cloudy and sometimes the sun would uh, hit the, the needle and uh, light it up, you know? And right now, everything is in the darkness and uh, it's getting pretty cloudy, as you can see. I don't think the sun is gonna come out again. It's gonna be pretty hard to get anything that is not the silhouette of the needle against the uh, bright white sky. Uh, but that's okay, I got a, 
a couple of shots when I got here. Uh, hopefully those are okay, and if not, I hope that the long exposure will work out. But what I'm gonna try to do now is to find a spot on the other side because I wanna take a shot or try to make an image of, I don't know if you can see them. I don't think I put it there. Yeah, this is hard. There, there's a, there's a tree and a little cactus, a saguaro. And I think they look pretty cool from there. Uh, I have here my, this is what I'm using the A6500 for, by the way. I just have my telephoto lens mounted here all the time, so I don't have to be switching lenses between the 6000 and this one. So, as I said, I'm going to go over there trying to trying to find a spot where to photograph those two, because I think it's a very cool contrast, a tree and a cactus with that uh, background, by the way, the, the beautiful mountains and the uh, the cliff. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to head back down. It's been a long day, it's almost 2 p.m. And yeah, I've been on this trail for three hours and I still have to go back. So yeah, let's do that. So heading down now, I I don't have expectations to for an image on the way down because as I said the sun the light is gone and this whole canyon is dark now. Which is okay because this location is not the best location for black and white photography. Actually very few locations in the Midwest are or in the Midwest, in the Southwest, sorry because the desert is beautiful and very colorful but it's also very busy and it's really hard to to make images here uh, at least uh, i find it very challenging and i always end up uh, making images that are silhouettes and stuff like that here look you see all those needles all those rock formations those are very cool to look at and they could probably look very good in a color at sunrise, but uh, they look horrible in black and white. Uh, I mean, horrible. It's not a good image. It's just, I knew it was going to be hard to make images here, uh, but I, I still decided to come. Uh, well, first of all, because the location is beautiful and I wanted to see it in person. And second of all, because you never know. Uh, I've said this many times, but the most important thing when it comes to photography and photograph the, the outdoors is to get out. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. But yeah, unless I find other images on my way down, I highly, highly doubt that. I have that one that I made of the cactus, that long exposure of the saguaro, uh, pretty much at the beginning of the hike. I have this one of the needle, the long exposure, and maybe the one of the tree and the saguaro in the distance. Three possible uh, good images. I don't know about that. I will have to look at them on the computer, but I mean, it's okay. It's not the most productive day, but it's, uh, it's okay. And now the sun is coming out. I was not expecting that. Just a break in the clouds, so it will go away soon again. I'm gonna keep going down and watch for more images on my way. Uh, I shouldn't be here for much longer because I almost ran out of water and this is not a good place to be without water. Today is not especially hot, I think it's 80 degrees, but tomorrow is gonna be 95, I believe, and the day after tomorrow, 97, so yeah. <laughs> Going down is always much worse than going up. So it's slippery here. Anyway, I'm using my telephoto lens with the A6500 because sometimes when you don't see images, changing to a telephoto lens helps a lot. It changes the way you see the landscape. Instead of seeing the whole thing, you start uh, watching or start looking for the, the small details, you know, and with this one I'm able to reach to 300 millimeters. Uh, I love that because uh, uh, 
to do that with other uh, camera systems like uh, the very own Sony full frame you need huge lenses and yes agreed this this uh, lens is not gonna give you the best quality at all actually it's not that uh, good quality but it gives you something and I can't imagine myself like carrying one of those huge white telephoto lenses uh, here to this uh, to this place Just made it to the car. That was a very rocky trail. My my knees kind of hurt a little bit, but it, it was good. It was good. My my legs are tired, but my heart is happy because uh, these places are beautiful. Uh, as I said, I don't know how many photos uh, I made here, how many good images I'm gonna get from here, but uh, it was completely worth it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.